And this person got to go through some fire. Yes. We today are going to be proven by fire. Yes. And you have to understand the only way that you're going to survive this race yes. is by going through the fire without complaining, without murmuring, Amen. without uh, 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 stumbling and crying. And, Amen. You got to go through it. Holding on to Jesus. Yes, Lord. Because you said you believe. Yes. That Jesus is the author and finisher of your faith. Amen. You believe that Jesus is your deliverer. Yes. You believe that Jesus saved you. Right. Then you ain't got no business doubting yes. the word of God. Yes. Yes. Because the word of God is Jesus. Jesus yes. searched the scripture. Yes. In them they bear witness of me. Amen. So all the Bible is about Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Alright now watch this. Verse 13. Will you tarry for them till they were grown? Would you stay for them from having husbands? Verse 14. And they lifted up their voice and wept again. And Oprah kissed her mother-in-law, but Ruth clave unto her. Now, Oprah kissed her mother-in-law, but Ruth hung on to her. Amen. All right, read. And she said, Behold, thy sister-in-law is gone back unto her people. Your sister-in-law has gone back to her people, to her mother, her grandmother, her father, uncles, cousins, uh-huh. And unto her God. And to her God. Amen. See, they worship heathen gods. Yeah. That's one reason why God put the curse on Naomi's family. Amen. Because even though there was a famine on the land, he should have stayed right there in Israel and kept on praying until he got a breakthrough. Yes. Right. So sometimes when you're going through something, don't think that you're in the wrong church. Yes. You're in the right church, but you got to hold on to God give you a breakthrough. Yes. You can never leave holiness and go to a false church yes. and think you're going to get a blessing. Right. Amen. Ain't no blessing in a false church. Yes. The only yeah. blessing you're going to find is in holiness. Amen. And hold this is not always easy yes. because you're going to have to go through something to prove your yes. life Hallelujah. unto God. Right. Ain't nothing going to be uh, just a downhill slide. Yes. Just peaches and cream. Yes, sir. Not in holiness church. Yes. No, you, you go through something and some of y'all know that. Amen. Sometimes you can look and say, now why is them devils got these good jobs <laughs> and we still scuffling? Because it's in the plan of God. Yes. And as long as you hold on, Hallelujah. God will bring you above all of those people that you see in that yes. condition. Hallelujah. If you got a mind, you got to hold on. Now, each person in their own proper place mm -hmm. with the Lord. Now, some may have this type of blessing. No, might have that kind of blessing. Right. Some might be blessed over this way. Some might be blessed over this way. As long as you're blessed, right. thank the Lord. It don't always have to be by a better job, a better position, more money. Amen. Listen, That's that is right. not Hallelujah. the blessing of God. Yes. Yes. If you can find peace of mind yes. and your children yes. keep getting up every morning Hallelujah. and you ain't running down to children's hospital, you are blessed by God. Yes. No, you're blessed by the Lord. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Read. Return thou after thy sister-in-law. Now, you see the test that... Naomi is putting on Ruth. Yes. Go back. I don't want you here. I don't want you going with me to Israel. Go on back to your people. Now, listen, we're talking about, what did it say? These things were written a four time for our learning. Yes. This is a true story here, church. This was a young woman who lost everything, her husband, but she had the option to go back to mama and daddy. And to grandma and uh, Aunt Lucy and all my relatives, my cousins. Yes. And I'll start my life over again because I'm still young. She had a decision to make. Now somewhere, Naomi had taught Ruth and Oprah about Jehovah God. Yes. Yes. That's right. I know what I'm saying yes. and we're yes. proven by scripture using line upon line, precept on precept. Yes. All right, read, watch. And Ruth said, entreat me not to leave thee. Don't make me leave you. Or to return from following after thee. Or return from following after you. Uh huh. For whither thou goest, I will go. Where you go, I'm going. And where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Where you stay, I'll stay. Thy people shall be my people. Your people gonna be my people. And thy God, my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your God yeah. gonna be my God. Yeah. Yeah. That shows the conversion Amen. to Jehovah. Yes. She said, not, I'm not going back to them false gods. Amen. Your God, yes. the one you taught me about. Amen. I said use line upon line, precept upon precept. You can't find what Naomi taught her about 
Jehovah, but she must have said something because she said your God. That's right. Be my God. So she must have told us something about her God. That's right, Is that right? That's All right, now read. Where thou diest, I will die. Where you die, I'll die. Ooh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now that's powerful there. Yes. She said, Where you die, I'm going to die. Yes. What about mom and daddy? Where you die, yes. I'm going to die. Hallelujah. Yes. hallelujah. Yes. Read. And there will I be buried. And there will I be buried. The Lord do so to me, and more also, if all but death part thee and me. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yes. The Lord punish me hallelujah. with death yes. if I leave you. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Praise God. That she done made up her mind. Yes, Lord. What am I saying here? Ruth, just like Esther, had a life and death decision to make. Amen. She left all of her natural yes. loved ones mm -hmm. and her natural environment that she was used to to follow after Hallelujah. Naomi, Amen. who was not her mother, but her mother-in-law. Yes. That shows you the respect that she had for Naomi, who taught her right from wrong. Yes. 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 Thank taught you. her character. Hallelujah. Taught her moral values. Yes. Taught her about this great God, Jehovah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the more she taught her, the more she loved him. Yes. To finally, she said, your God will be my yes. God. And when they bury you, that's what they're going to bury me. Yes. Now, what am I saying? She had an individual. Y'all catching what I'm saying? Yes. She had an individual choice to make. She didn't say, when her sister-in-law said, oh, 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 no, me, I love you, but I'm going back home. Come on, Ruth, let's go. Ruth didn't say, Okay, wait till I get my, my, my suitcase. Amen. She said, bye. Hallelujah. Bye. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going with Naomi. Hallelujah. Yeah. Stay in holding this church. Yeah. Stay here. Don't let nobody persuade you. Hallelujah. Don't let no evil spirit come along and whisper something in your ear. Hallelujah. Well, I don't know. God brought you here, and he didn't bring you here by accident. Exactly. Everybody hear me. Exactly. Nobody is teaching what we are teaching Hallelujah. and search the scripture and find out Hallelujah. where we have erred in the Bible. Hallelujah. We teach the head coming is not popular, but it's Bible. Yeah. I read a passage that the other uh, I was sharing with Elder Willis. Uh, was it Jacob's wife? Uh, Isaac's wife was coming to her. Yes. And she thought he was a stranger. And she reached, as she was coming out to meet him, she reached and got her veil. Yeah. Yeah. That's way back in the Old Testament. Yeah. And I believe in the book of Numbers, when they brought this daughter who had committed a, a sin yeah. and brought her before the elders, they removed her veil. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you, when Paul taught the veil covering, he brought that yeah. from the Old Testament into the New. Yeah. All of our moral guidance came from the Old Testament into the new. Yes. God ain't never destroyed the moral code of the Old Testament concerning the New Testament. Yes. Yes. Now certain punishments mm -hmm. he did away with. Yes. Instant punishment without repentance he did away with that. Amen. But the sin is still the same. That's right. Fornication is still fornication. Amen. They don't stone you to death because of grace. Yes. Getting drunk is still a sin. Amen. But they ain't going to kill you because of grace. Amen. We have to understand brothers and sisters that the Bible is to change the individual character and make that character acceptable unto God. When we can learn to do this, we can learn to take uh, words that are not comfortable. Maybe a slight here. Maybe someone didn't speak to me right. Maybe someone said something I didn't like about me. When we learn how to take that and let it bounce off of us. Or, I ain't going to say it don't hurt. But sometimes, you know, when something hits you kind of hard, you kind of shake. Yes. But you keep on going. Hallelujah. You don't fall down. Thank Hallelujah. You. you still got to keep on going. Yeah. Never let the devil trick you so much Thank to you. think that you're going to leave and go somewhere else. Hallelujah. What If you do, every church you find after you leave holiness, you will never find peace of mind. Right. Because right. one thing, you know the truth. Right. You know the truth. Right. And those who have left true light, yeah, you didn't throw away your head cover and all that, but, but you know the truth. Yeah. That's one thing. And every time you go to bed at night and you get down on your knees 
You say, well, I'm not God. He is not, but God ain't paying no attention to me because what did he say in Matthew 7? Depart from me. I don't know who you are. 